Hello, and welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play Part 39. And, as you can see, I am on Minecraft version 1.1. So that's very good. Uh, obviously, all the mods have updated. Uh, interestingly enough, that um, the recipe book mod no longer was able to read the recipes for Industrial Craft 2, so, I still have it, but I had to pick up the craft book mod, which I just dropped in on top of everything, which is good. So I'll show how that works in a second. Also, as you can see, I have not configured control pack yet. I figured I'll, I'd show it. So you go Alt-C, and you can bring it up here, and you can configure options. And you have to basically read the... Um, uh, read me to know what all this means, but it's to the left, my coordinates top right, but it's it's all good. I've already read it, so I know how this all works. So look behind with back and forward on. That's all good. This is really useful. So turn that off because I've never had a problem with the rain. Turn that off because I don't use it. That can stay on. Well, I guess I can leave it on. I don't care. Alright, good, because the thing is, Smart Furnaces only applies to those furnaces. Since I don't use those, I use those furnaces, it's not a lot of point. It's your key bindings, I think this is all good. Anyway, now, I'm not sure why... But, for some reason, um... My dog totally ran out of health. I do not know why. So the first order of business before I head off and start exploring is to get him a cake. So I'm going to do that right now. Cake. Good. And I should feed you also. Did you just jump up and hurt yourself? Oh, you're starving. Okay, well, hold still, and I'll feed you. There you go. Now you're full. Good. And you will sit. And you will sit. There. <laughs> Good. There are a lot of neat new features with the Doggy Talents mod which I'm not going to go into simply because there's a lot of neat features and all that. Um, now I need to make a cake, so I need to run down to my animal farm. My animal farm has been working L, working quite well. I'm very pleased with it. The grass has finished spreading. You can see the sheep haven't finished spreading on their grass yet, but it's working on it. Need more pigs though. That's right, come get it. I think I've got enough cows, though. Good. Alright, I'm so glad I put it nice and far away from my base, or, I, or the sound would drive me nuts. Alright, so now... Crafting bench. Milk there, sugar there. Oops. <laughs> Egg there. And that there. And I mixed them. Couldn't quite remember whether it was wheat or... Anyway, there we go. Cake in there. I like to have the cake just there so that if I need it and I don't have time to go get milk and build a cake, I can do that. Oh, eggs only stacked to 16. Okay. Very well. Put that up there. I'll just run down and throw these eggs into the uh, chicken coop thing. I have not yet had that work. They always just break. Supposedly they spawn chickens, but it's a 1 in 16 chance, so haven't seen it happen that I recall. Incidentally, when I upgraded to the current version of Industrial Craft 2, I actually had to recharge all my stuff. 
everything that had a charge had to get recharged. And it looks like I've used a bit of a charge here. Um, that's actually a, an official thing stated in the change log because of... I'm not exactly sure why. Anyway, so then you'll notice this lever is sitting there and you might wonder what that does. Well, that lever is wired to that redstone down there. That goes over, loops around, triggers this thing. What that um, switch cable is hooked to is right now is nothing, but you can just sort of see there's a tunnel down there. It tunnels straight down, dodging neatly all the redstone, you know, for the base and whatnot. And so I'll be able to flip this switch, and then that wire will go down underneath my base over and then all the way to my teleporters and it will keep my teleporters at my base all fully charged all the time. <coughs> Ultimately that's kind of a longer term goal because considering that I'll be using glass fiber cabling and it takes you get four glass fiber cabling per diamond and I need about a hundred cabling I'm going to need around 25 diamonds just for the cabling, but because the run's so long, I'm going to need at least two MFSUs, and they take six diamonds each, so it's going to be a while. I'll do that all that camera. I have plenty of UU matter, so that's good. Oh yeah, that reminds me, craft book. So, yeah, so the recipe book, if I open it up, it shows doggy talent stuff just fine, which, again, I should point out, some of the recipes have changed. But then I've got all these pages of completely blank stuff. So, yeah. So obviously this isn't working anymore. So, put that up there. Now, I believe the recipe, let's see, I'll need paper and that. And I'll need that. I don't know if I have enough paper. I might need to go, oops. Harvest some, uh, <laughs> just got an email. I might have to go harvest some, uh, reeds. There we go. Finally figured out the word I was looking for. Because I need four paper, but then I also need four books. So, yeah, okay, I have to get some reeds. Interesting that all this time I've managed to run out of reeds. <laughs> I think I can remember back when I had stacks and stacks of it. Go. Just quickly grab some. I'm not gonna harvest everything. Just harvest as much as I need. Okay, that should be enough. So let's just quickly here. That. That should be plenty of paper. Because I don't need a lot. I just need. There. So this is enough. Good. That there, there, and then just in case I'm not being heard here, I should back up. There we go. Alright, so then, like that, make a crafting bench, books like that, paper like that, and you get a crafting guide. Right click it, and it's a lot more um, user friendly. So that's cool. Incidentally, these, as I understand it, this is. Without the background like this, it means it's a shapeless recipe, which is kind of cool. So, yeah. Let's see. Did I, see? I, thought I, saw I think I saw something interesting go by there. Oh, yeah. The um, little star thing means any variety of wooden planks will do. Let's see. Yeah, there's the crafting guide thing. Um, ah, there it is. Dog food bowl. I have no idea what a dog food bowl does, but it looks very interesting, so... <laughs> I remember reading about it, I just cannot for the life of me quite remember what it does. But it, I think... It, um... I don't know what they're Bone. It's interesting, because I've been no I was, I'm noticing that it doesn't look like it's saving. It looks like it keeps needing to eat, so I'm not sure how that works. I suppose I could go read the change log, but where's the fun in that? <laughs> eh, wrong button. Okay, bone. And 
I put it in the wrong spot. There we go. Dog food bowl. All right. Hmm. Do I put it? Oh, I know. I know what I'll do. There we go. I'll put it back. No, don't do that. Actually, you know what? If I do that, I'm not be careful. I need to. There you go. Put that there. Oh, I can put stuff in it. Cool. All right. So let's put. Ah, good. I can do that. All right. Let's put four steaks in it. And then, where are you going? Come back here. Come back here. Can I like, hmm. Dog, go to food bowl. Food, over there. No, 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 not that way. There's yummy food over here. Sit. I want you to sit here. Hmm. Alright, one second. Okay, so according to this, I have to get them to or get it to sit on the food bowl. Which is gonna be slightly complicated. But I think I know how to do this. Just have to do that. And then just bring the dog over here. Interested in my? There he goes. See it. Let's get a little closer. There. Whoa! 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 Now, see, this is tricky. I'm trying to get him to come just far enough. Then I have to. No, oh, come back here. Yeah. Yep. There. Sit. Sit. There. Got him to sit on it. So now it should work. So I'm gonna run out of the other side and fix the hole in my wall here. Good. And then I think I'll leave. Not that obviously, but I think I'll leave a spot there for it to climb up onto it if it wants to. Like that, and get it off. The hey, 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 sit. Okay, good. Good, so now... Good. You can sit there. According to what I read, it takes about two and a half hours. Yeah, two and a half hours when they're sitting. The only other problem now, of course, is that... Because it's sitting and not in wandering mode... Hmm... I don't really have enough... Base. How do I want to do this? Hmm. If I, I can't really reach my water anyway. So, let's see. I can't really put my water on this wall. Well, I suppose I could just leave it there. I could just jump in the water. I need to. If I'm gonna have it in wandering mode, I need to put fences down. I can't put the fences here. I could put the fences. Hmm. I only have two blocks of space, unless I want to have it open. I could do that, I suppose. Hmm. I'm visualizing this all in my head here. Anyway, um, let's see. Put that there. Let's see. Put the. Paper back up here. <coughs> right. Um let's see which map was this one again? <coughs> Another map. Okay. Uh right. Let's see. If it's gonna it gives me two and a half hours before I have to oh. feed you again. Um Yeah. So let's see, what was I gonna do? Um I suppose it's Okay, you're not gonna starve to death. And 
Yeah. Alright, so I guess you can just sort of sit there. And I will deal with that off camera when I deal with the teleport wires. In the meantime, I think I've done everything I need to do. Just trying to think, make sure I haven't forgotten anything. I think I can go work on my actual project. Okay, so, project. Let's see what time is it. Eh, alright, I'll sleep till morning. Um, I need melon seeds. Well, I need a melon seed. <laughs> and I thought, I really thought that melon seeds could be found in, um, strongholds. But apparently, I looked it up again, and apparently they are not. They are only found in abandoned mine shafts. Which is strange, because you'd think you'd find them in bull. So, but that's what I read on the wiki, so I guess I'm going to go by that. I suppose it's actually better this way, because I can get to abandoned mine shaft easily enough, but a... I guess I'll leave that. Um, but a, uh, uh, strongholds are harder to find. Oh yeah, this is where the wire will... Uh, there'll be an MFC right there connected via a wire running from that direction to the MFCs up there and then it will, this will seal of course, but then it will go this way along this block and then it will split and go to teleporters and all that. So, if I come down here you'll notice it's full, 10 million to use. I took the time to charge it up and I had to do a little tweaking. I actually had to move the pressure plate back a block because what was happening is I would because you warp in on top of the pressure on top of the teleporter, and if the pressure plate is on top of the teleporter, then you'll instantly activate the teleporter and teleport out again, and you'll be going back and forth between the two until you run out of energy in one of them. So, so you just walk through, and you pop out the other side. You'll notice I actually had to move it over here because I the direction you maintain the direction, and so I was having the wrong direction, but now it worked. Now I don't have enough power, as you can see, to get back through. It takes a lot of EUs depending on how much I've got, but um, so for now I'm just using the nether portal to get back. Alright. Is that? Oh, that reminds me. I'll turn it to hard. I have it on peaceful when I'm just sitting in my base because otherwise it will uh, drive me nuts because it will have Endermen spawning. Oops. Didn't mean to fall like that, but alright. Yeah, okay, so this is still part of the area here. I need to find where the abandoned mine shaft stuff connects because it's around here somewhere. But it's been a long time since I've been here. I've gone far. It's a really long tunnel. You know what? I'm going to break up these because they're going to distract me and make me wonder if I've gotten them or not. And when I first came through, I simply didn't have the inventory space to pick them all up, but now I do, so. Here's skeleton. Redstone. Don't need redstone. Ah, dead end. All right. Um. Right, so it's been a long time since I've been in this stronghold, and I can't remember where the abandoned mine shaft is. I know for a fact there is an abandoned mine shaft nearby, quote unquote. <laughs> Whether I can find it is going to be the challenge. 
Convenient. Go up here. Oops. Okay. Fine. Alright, so what's down here? Since I seem to be going downstairs easier than upstairs. There we go. Yeah, I think I recognize that. Okay, you got a red mushroom there. Interesting. Here we go, stairs going down. Incidentally, control pack adds a neat little feature. Hit V, customizable in the options, and it plunks a torch on the wall. So that's cool, that's what I'm using. Well, not on the wall. It plunks a torch where you're looking, so... Hmm. Oh yeah, it sucks me down to bedrock. Grab that. This, took me, this takes me down to bedrock. Hmm. So nothing interesting here. I need to find where the um um abandoned mine shaft is. And I can't find it. Oh, there's a chest. Grab that. Good. Alright, so what's up here? Oh shoot! <laughs> oh man, I'm so glad I didn't fall down there. That would have been painful. <laughs> but that startled me. Good night. I mean, I could. I, I was, was like, I walked a couple steps, I could hear something walking, walked a couple more steps, I heard something walking. Good night, that startled me. Okay. Right, so. Anything down here? No, I already got that stuff, okay. Creepers. Barely even caught a glimpse of it before it exploded, but oh well. Okay. I've definitely been here, I just can't remember where the walkway was. Oops. Thought there was a block there. Okay. Is this. What's this? This looks just like a ca cave. Lava around. Ah, not this time. Ha. Huh. Ow, that hurt. You aren't allowed to hurt me. It's a rule. Well, <laughs> steal my kill, lava. Oh, a little spider. Cobblestone. I doubt that is a natural cobblestone. I think it's natural cobblestone. Yeah, I heard you shoot at me, but I don't know where you are. Oh well. Although it's kind of an odd spot, wouldn't you think? Huh. I mean, there's certainly 
right stuff nearby, lava and water, but seems kind of odd. Ditch the door. <laughs> Wait, what's oh, it's a spider. For a split second there, I thought that was a gasp. That would have been really bad. Whoa! Good grief. I should be more careful. Coal, redstone, this is a great place. Um, don't need that. It loops back into the stronghold over there. Hmm. What's up here, I wonder? Ah! Check it out! Back to the base. Alright, so let's go back this way. I guess I just explore these caves, because I'm positive that there's an abandoned mine shaft near... by. But I don't remember where it is. So, I guess I'm just going to explore. And keep collecting resources, even though I really have no need to collect resources. I mean, really, no need. Just... Just hard to walk past useful stuff like that. I've got stacks and stacks of iron and gold. And a ton of stacks of coal and redstone. But, oh well. At least it's really fast with this drill, so I don't have to worry about trying to cut it out or anything. Yeah, okay, so down there I've already been. Hmm. Haven't been this way. But it just ah, there it is. I knew it was around here, and I'm out of torches. Cause I've been here before. I'm reasonably certain. Yeah, this looks about right. Ah, oh, there's some coal. Wonderful. Oh shoot! No, you don't. I love this nano saber. Right, coal. Alright, I've got plenty of bones plus the ability to make more. And come to think of it, I've got the same the same could be said for string. But bones are easier to grab than string, so they go first. Alright. Good. And then I think I am going to go ahead and gather the track. Because every track I gather, gather like this is a track I don't have to make. And, well, it's a lot longer term than my even some of the other plans. I do have plans that involve tracks at a later date. That's literally all I can say about it, because I pretty much have not figured out what I want to do with it yet. I just know I want to do something with tracks sometime. And this is a very dangerous- whoa! I was gonna say, it's a very dangerous track. It runs right into the lava. Oh yeah, I didn't make torches. Because I don't have the wood. And I can't pick up the wood. Um... Really need the chests. 
pickaxe. Hmm. I'll drop the cobblestone. That's like. Yeah. I have to pick up the wood, so... Um... Gunpowder, I guess. I really don't need the gunpowder. I've got plenty of it at home. Good. Alright. Now... Area up there. Is this an area, or just... Okay, just... Yeah. Alright. Use my stone here. Hopefully, nothing jumps me. That would be annoying. Doesn't look like anything interesting down there. Good. I'll leave it like. Well, there go, I'll leave it like that. track underneath there. Well, I didn't know, I just seemed very likely. 